So the spirit of FIRST is basically to create a, a sports community for more technical people. You spend a lot of time designing, and you spend a lot of time building, and you go through the entire process of an entire build in six weeks. And there are teams of 40 people who all get involved, all have a part in the robot, and there are trophies, and there are scholarships. We're, we're really trying to just train a new generation of engineers. And this team means a lot to me. I spend, I devote every second I can to it. I, I, if it means no sleep, it means no sleep. I'm really sad that it's going to end my senior year, but I, I know I'll be back mentoring this team for years to come. When I joined FIRST, basically I learned how you had to think so much on your feet and think like beyond just what they tell you to think about. Thinking outside the box all the time. I'm actually one of the 58% people with free reduced lunch because we just can't afford buying lunch every day. We can't afford spending all that money all the time. And coming into here, getting this opportunity on just by somebody donating and giving me a scholarship to actually participate and use the tools, it's become a big part of my life. Even though it's just two months, I can't really just walk away at all. I can't just put it down and not think about it. It's a huge part of my daily thinking and my daily life. Team XBOT, the, the team I'm a part of, definitely changed my life. When I joined the team, it was my senior year, and I didn't even know if I was going to graduate. You would have dropped out if I hadn't been for XBOT. I absolutely would have dropped out just due to complete aimlessness. Um, I'm, I'm actually in college thanks to my experiences with this team. There's a, there's a student on our team who, who a lot of his time spent on the team, he um, wasn't trying very hard and, and that was definitely a reflection of school work we found out. Um, and this year he has blossomed into an amazing programmer. Uh, it used to be we had to check his laptop to make sure he wasn't on Facebook or wasn't talking to his friends or something like that. And now I'm still checking his laptop and I'm blown away every day that he's programming. He's tearing away at it and I wish we would have given him something to do like that sooner because he's so good at it and he's so into it that it's one of those things like I, I'm watching another kid get turned around by the program and it's... It, I know exactly how he feels. Building a robot in six weeks isn't easy, and I watch these kids come in day after day, staying till past midnight, trying to convince their parents, you know, we gotta stay, we gotta fix the robot. The biggest skill you'll learn here is that no problem is impossible. You take six weeks and you design and build and test and watch it break and pray to God the next solution will fix it, but you never quit. I think the most important thing that anyone learns on our team is that you, you, can't, you can't stop for very long. You know, you can, you can feel bad when something doesn't work, but you have to get back up, you have to keep, keep trying to fix it because otherwise no one else will. I don't know what